Good morning, everybody. I'd like to thank everybody for coming back. Make sure you hit that like button to share, subscribe, and today we have got a very easy job to do. I'm just kind of bringing you guys along. I had a tree, a dead tree fall down on my fence, and so I gotta get that all, I already got that all cut up. I still gotta mend the fence up. It's a rolled fence, so I'll show you how to do that. Stay tuned, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this tree up that I've got right here. And we're gonna load it up, then we're gonna go right down the fence line down here, and we are going to fix that fence, and then we'll be done. This will be a short video, so I just wanna thank everybody for coming along, and God bless. Okay, my camera keeps on shutting off on me. I'm gonna to have to do some research on it and get it fixed. But I'm going to aim to meet you guys over at the, the fence so we can get it mended up, pull it up. I'll meet you over there and I'll show you how it's gonna get done. It's real simple. I just wanna bring you guys along, okay? God bless. Well, we got that log all cut up. Got it stacked up in the back of the side by side. Yeah, we're ready to take that up to the house, to the, the woodlot area so I can get it all cut up. Hold on a second. So what I have here, I have 1.3 acres is what I got for the pigs. And I divided it up between 12 to 14 paddocks. They're roughly about three to 500 square feet per paddock. So, and the whole entire fenced off area is in the shape of a triangle. So we are on the northwest corner of it, where the big, the big area is. It's like 540 square feet. So the tree fell right across right here. You can see it right there. I got it all cut up. Now my fence is just all mangled. So one thing I love about roll fencing is it's very forgiving. So when that tree hit, it hit my T-post and drove it in about a foot and a half. So I'm gonna have to get another T-post, but for now, I'm gonna pull the fence up and wire it together and I'm gonna get another T-post and, and use a T-post driver and drive it down in there, secure it. So for now, I'm just gonna bend it back up and wire it up for now and I'll get the other one done. You get a T-post out here, so. I just wanna show you that, it's real easy. It's not hard. So, I'm just cutting the wire I already got on there. So it's a little bit easier to mess with. Hold up. There's another one right there. Yeah. Yeah, so pop up three seats. With a little bit of persuasion. Now if this was like cattle panel doing this, you know, the eight or sixteen footers, if it would mash them, that would be pretty hard to put back together. They're a lot stiffer. I think they're welded. So, I just like this because it just, it's so flexible on it. So, I'm going to get this back up, wire it back up, and I'm going to call it good. It may not look the prettiest, but it gets the job done. All I'm using is just old baling, baling wire. That's all I'm using. It's good stuff. It'll last a while.
do one more piece and that should be good. The one down at the bottom. Honestly, I probably need to put one more on it right there, just so I can sleep better at night. There you have it. I got the fence fixed. It doesn't look the greatest, but I'll get that other T-post in there. And I'll make it look pretty good after that. So thanks for coming along. I'll see you all later. Make sure you put a thumbs up, subscribe, share it. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.